All right, I want to do a quick video here on the subject of house church, a, a list, making a list of house churches, Bible, King James Bible believing house churches. I have to define it. You know, there are lists of house churches out there, but they're kind of the modern charismatic nonsense where any, anybody can, you know, preach or teach or whatever. It's just a bunch of people sitting around drinking iced tea or something. You know, that's not a house church. All right, that's just a social club, you know. But, um, should there be a list of house churches that are Bible believing? Now here at King James Video Ministries and also Bible Believers Fellowship, I probably get about one or two requests for this list every week. I mean it's crazy and I understand the reason why. Because of the famine in the land of hearing the Word of God that's mentioned back in the book of Amos. There is a massive, massive famine of good Bible-believing churches out there. It's a shame. It really is. But I just want to cover a couple things here in this video of why there currently is no list. And I'm going to discuss some of the pros and cons of it. Um, first of all, I'm going to discuss a negative aspect of the thing of making a list. If you read in the book of Acts... It talks numerous times about Paul sending people out to confirm the churches. Now, let's say I have a list and somebody from across the country says, I'd like to be on your list. We are a Bible-believing house church. How can I see the proof of that? How can I feel safe sending people to that house church? They could be really, really totally messed up. It could be one of these modern charismatics, you know. I can't travel the country confirming the churches as they did back in the book of Acts. I just can't do it. Um, so that presents a little bit of a problem. Another problem. Um, you don't have to be too bright to see out in the future here. Christians could be persecuted before real long here in America. You know, they can come out and say we're hate criminals because we stand against sodomy. Um, you know, we're not ecumenical. So, you know, we should be rounded up and exterminated or put in re-education camps or something. It's happened in other countries. Don't think it isn't going to happen here. Persecution could come very soon to Christians living here in America. Now, if there's a list and it's published online, guess what? It isn't going to take them very long to come for you. All right? And again, you know, where's this stuff at in the Bible? Paul says, you know, great different people and things and he lists these different churches that are out there yeah but it was mostly up here in his mind he knew where they were at um in times of persecution you've got to be real careful how much advertising you do and it's no it's not here yet we could have a list right now i understand that but the point is i kind of like to plan for the future and really i think it should be about people Getting that right relationship with the Lord and really studying on their own, studying to be able to give answers to people, and at that point, then they can create their own house churches with Jesus Christ as the head. The problem when you start putting man into it and you start having a presiding elder and the elder of the, the territory or something and the diocese and all these other nonsense, pagan, you know, type religious stuff, the problem there is that all it takes really is for somebody to come in and, and mess that hierarchy up and then all the churches fall apart. I mean, how many churches were formed around one man here in America and after the man died, you know, of natural causes, uh, the whole church falls apart. You say, give me an example. Okay, J. Frank Norris. J. Frank Norris's church is now a modern church. One of the strongest King James Bible believers in the 20th century. He was a good man. But look what his church became. See, it should be about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ should be the head of your religion. And when you start to put man up and put him up on a pedestal, it gets very dangerous. So, that's something else to consider. Now, here's one that I would say is a pro for the thing of a house church list. There could be a list that somebody could make, and they could keep it private. So, let's say... I have this list here of, you know, a hundred different house churches dotted around around the country. And uh, over in the UK, you know, and, and Australia and, and some of the other English-speaking countries out there, 
I'm going to be very limited in those other countries. You know, that's something that somebody there could do. But let's just say I have this list here in America, and somebody contacts me from Washington State, we'll say. I can go down through my list and I can say, okay, there is one, and I can write back and I can say, are you close to such and such an area, you know, and if they are, put them in contact and link them up. In other words, it would be some place where they would actually have to contact me or whoever, I'll get to that in a minute, to get that name. See, that's a possibility. Now, what I just said there a second ago about somebody else, I'm going to tell you right now, looking at all the different things that I prayed about this, I've been thinking about this for a long time now, but honestly, I do not have the time to add another ministry to my already, you know, big list here. I can't have a list of house churches and things and, and manage that whole thing right there. So what I'm offering to somebody out there is a great ministry opportunity. All right, I'm not, I didn't say a great way to make money, okay? I said a great ministry opportunity. There is a dire need for a list, you know, that's out there. I mean, like I said, there's pros and cons here. I understand that. But there is a need for a list. And if somebody out there, in my view, viewing audience, somebody that's familiar with this and familiar with the house church movement and everything, if somebody adds, wants to add that thing, let me know and I will do whatever I can to help promote your website. You know, of a of lists of Bible-believing house churches. And, you know, even if you have a, a church building, per se, and it's not 501c3, and you're not going to compromise, and you're, you know, you're a good church. Um, I know, like, Gateway Anabaptist up there in Michigan. Even that, you know, you don't have to be a quote-unquote house church, but a decent church, it would be good to have everybody on the list there. Something to think about. I'm just throwing this thing out there. Uh, opening up a discussion. There is a great desire among people out there, Bible believers. They get converted over to the King James Bible. They go to their pastor of the church that they've gone to for a while, and they say, hey, let me show you some stuff here. And he says, I, I don't want to hear about it. And they get to a point where they realize they have to leave. They see more and more corruption coming into their church. I mean, you got to understand that. I'm not advocating, you know, destroying churches or just, you know, whatever. I'm saying there are churches that will not submit to the authority of the King James Bible. Now, you as a Christian, you can't stay in an, in an environment like that. You have to leave. And a lot of people are saying, what do I do? I don't feel qualified to preach on my own. I don't feel qualified to start a house church. I'd like to become part of one. There is a need for a list like that. So I'm going to throw that out there. If Anybody out there, pray about it, and if you feel God calling you into, if you have a website already, or you want to build one, whatever, and make it a specifically take over this ministry, and maybe the Lord will give you ideas that I haven't even thought of. But if you want to do that, it would be great. Let me know, and I'll do what I can to promote it, and, you know, we'll put ourselves in that list as well, you know, and I'll give you some good suggestions. And... I guarantee you it would be a popular thing. Very popular. So, pray about it. Think about it. Uh, write to me if you have any questions on it. If you have the idea. Um, so that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.